Greetings, fellow adventurers. This is Venturin, and welcome back to my Skyrim adventure. All right. Um, last time we we um cleared out a the fortress, of bandits. I think that's what we did, right? Yeah, that's definitely what we did. Okay, so we cleared that out. Oh wait a minute, we have to go open the gate for that guy and get our dog back. I just remembered. I almost forgot the dog, but no, I, I'm good. I'm good. I can remember. How do we get down? What? What is the purpose of a shortcut to the roof if you can't get down from the roof? Thought that was going to be a quicker exit, but no, I still got to backtrack all the way back through the whole place again. All right, I guess we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to walk all the way back through. All right, I don't even know how to get back through. Okay, as you guys can probably tell, I'm recording this a day after I recorded the other videos instead of all in a row on one day like I normally do. So if I'm a little confused about some of the things we were in the middle of last time, that's why. Um... Okay, uh, um, okay, now, I'm gonna guess it's this way. I don't know, it just, this feels more like an exit. Like, usually when you look at a room, you're like, oh, this room is a safe room that would lead to a quick exit if there was a fire or something. You know, you can tell that sometimes. Like, a basement is not typically somewhere you'd want to go in a fire. I'm, I'm just saying. You can tell, I mean, alright, there's the dog. You guys are starting to crowd me. Come on! Oh, I'm gonna have to go through the window. There's an emergency. Oh, here, here's the. It was already open. I switched it to closed. I already. Okay. Get out of. What's the hurry? Don't make me fool through the door, you. Hey, there we go. Okay. Alright, so now the dog has to come with us. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Okay. Who the heck are you guys? What in the world? Looks like a weird Norwegian band. Um, do you guys want something? That's a nice sword. I like that sword. Call me Elf. Okay, um, the fort is yours. Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? No, I didn't see them. If they, Hopefully if I did, they, they were the dead people. Before the attack. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Okay. Anyway, Can you back up, please? Here is your reward. Yes. Thanks again. Please don't kiss me. Speak, Elf. Okay, let's get out of here quick, guys. Uh, some of these people are kind of weird. Alright, so that's that. We completely liberated a fort and gave it back to its rightful owners. So that's something that we did. You know, just all in a day's work. Alright, wait, what are we doing? Oh, we have to go back to White Run. That's what we're doing. Alright, we're doing companion quests. Alright, and I am reading all your comments. You guys have been leaving tons of comments and tons of likes and... Tons of feedback, which helps me because then I know what to do. Because you see what happens when I don't have anything I need to be doing. I'll just sit here and I'll just stare at the screen and I'll wander in circles forever and I'll talk about things that make no sense. So if you guys keep leaving comments giving me objectives to complete, it helps me to not just wander around and do nothing. Which I tend to do. You should see when I play by myself. It's bad. I will spend entire hours just wandering around in circles. Having no idea where to go or any clue of what needs to be done. Also, and because I'm recording this before the episode goes up, um, the last episode we filmed, I still do not know what your guys' opinion is of Natasha here or Hulk in there. Now, Hulk, he's terrifying, okay? He's scarier than a bear with an anger issue, okay? thats He's just scary. He really is. But, and he also... He, Okay, he's scary because he's the Incredible Hulk, but he's also scary because he looks like a 40-year-old guy who's past his prime and has been fixing cars and playing in a small band at the local fair for the last 13 years. That's basically what he looks like. That's my best description of what he looks like. So, oh, and does anyone know what these markings are? I've seen these markings all over Skyrim, outside of all kinds of houses. I still to this day do not know what these mean. Are these Thieves Guild markings? Like they mark like if they've robbed a house or if this house should be robbed or what? Because in Solitude, almost all the houses have a marking outside them like this. So is what does that mean? Or is this like an address? Is this like a street address? How would you even do that? All right, let's go ahead and here. See what I'm? See what I mean? I'm talking about things that don't mean anything. I, I get I get off track. You know you know how it is. I never thought they would actually let me join the companions. But now it looks like they're letting anyone in these days. Why would you treat a fellow dark elf like that? Do you and why are you so... Like what the in the world? 
Yeah. Apparently, someone is running around in the nude. Why did someone drop their clothing on the floor? I do not approve of such actions in my hall. I wish you to remove yourself from my here table as I feel. Oh, bread. Oh. Oops, I dropped it. Ah, oh, that's a good time. Okay. Uh, where is my quest? Oh, there she is. She's right next to the door. I miss her every time. Hey, la! I've been running interference for you around I, here. I, I don't took think anyone's caught Stop on talking so I can talk. Manus, I took care of this roof of silver hand for you. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep yes, I did. We'll wipe them out yet. Okay. We'll wipe them out. Thank you. What what's the next Good target? So eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around the rift. Oh, he's sniffing? If you can sneak into their camp and steal his plans, we'll have the advantage. Cool espionage. I'm a spy. Yes. Um, so how do I do that exactly? All right, I basically have to go sneak into a camp, steal their plans, and get out without dying. That is easier said than done, especially for me, because you guys know I am not good at sneaking. Ever. And it would be easier if I didn't have these people following me around. I've got an entire army following me, and I'm supposed to sneak in? Okay, something tells me sneaking is not going to happen. No sneaking. We're going to go in there, swords blazing? It would be guns blazing. I don't know, sword swinging. Sword swinging, that makes more sense. And we will take whatever we want, and that's basically how we roll. We don't usually play by the rules. Why well, does this sound like the synopsis for a really terrible 80s cop movie? Um, stealing plans, there we go. Alright, so we gotta go steal the plans. The plans for- oh, what? Oh, wait, that's not the quest marker. I thought the quest marker was out there. Where is it? Oh, it's back in the middle of nowhere. I've not even been there yet. This is gonna take some walking. Alright, so basically, we've been sent to collect the plans of the enemy to help aid the allies in the taking of the Europe front. Wait, no, that's World War II. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Hey, I might as well ride bubbles, right? I might as well. All right, where are we going? This way. Perfect. This is the way in which we are going. Uh, I don't even know. We've never been this way before yet? Wow. We're going to unexplored territory. Anything could be here. Anything. Stay frosty, Marines. Stay frosty. Wait, there's somebody moving over there. Does anyone else see that? Who are you guys? The heck are you doing in the river? What is this? A weird kind of stormcloak baptism? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, why are you in the river, sir? Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. That Nernroot! It's calling to me. I can hear it whispering my name. It's glowing in my brain. I must pick it up. I can't stop. The Nernroots! They haunt my dreams. I must pick it up. I can't stop myself. It all comes from playing too much Oblivion. Because you had to pick them up in that game. But now they're worthless, but I still pick them up. You killed a wolf! You guys are murderers! Murderers! Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm sorry, Vale. I'm sorry for making you sound like a complete lunatic. I really hope that when I speak, my voice doesn't come out. Like, like, does Vale, like, kind of sound like what I sound like when she, when she talks? Like, when I talk for her. They hear Vale's voice, of course. But her tone would be the tone I'm using. So if I come in talking like I'm a southern cowboy, woohoo, that's what Vale just said. So you gotta think about that. When I act like a complete moron, Vale, in a sense, is acting the same way. So sometimes these NPCs acting a little strange, it's kind of, ooh, there's someone dead here. I found a Khajiit. There's a Khajiit in the waterfall. Ah, there's nothing behind the waterfall. How'd my torch stay lit after that? Oh, please tell me it's not up there. Stop whimpering, dog! We have things that we need to do. You signed up for this stuff. You should just sit back and do it and enjoy your time doing it. I can't get up here. It's nice of these people to mow the lawn. Who mows this? That would be a death. 
You would die the first day you tried to mow this. Okay, I can't... Okay, go around. Go around. Come on, I'm not Dora. Okay, I can go around things. I don't need to hop over them while counting in Spanish. All right, here we go. Perfect. We're up and around. Kind of. We're still upping and arounding-ing, but we're getting there. One small step at a time. All right, I think we're close now. Hello? Anyone close? Oh, you guys are looking to die. Okay, give me one second. I'll kill you guys. Well, I just un I just unactivated what I was trying to activate. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, please. There you go. Perfect. He just vanished. Apparently, I didn't have my thum set to th stun. I almost said thum set to thun. That doesn't make any sense. The power of the lisp is powerful. You don't say. Broken Helm Hollow. Why is it called Broken Helm? Apparently someone came in here, rolled down a cliff, smashed their head on something, and then, like, they woke up and they're like, I know what I'm going to call the place. I'm going to call the place Broken Helm because I broke my helm in the hollow. The hollow I broke my helm in. Unless there's a hollow behind my helm that I broke. It's just nothing but a hollow hole in my head that I broke with my thumb. I don't have a thumb, though. I have a helmet in my hollow helm. Oh, wait. You, ah, you're on my team. Never mind. I thought you guys were bad guys. That's okay. That happens sometimes. That happens. That happens. Friendly fire. Friendly fire. Oh, wow. I just shortcutted like a boss. Silver hand strategy. Blah, 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 blah. What in the world is that? Oh. I thought it was a ghost. I thought I was like, I'm haunted. But I wasn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, I already read that one. Man, Vail, you read too much. You've already read all these books. All right, why does it seem so dark in here? It's probably because I'm recording so early in the morning and the light from the window is like coming through really intense. So it's making the game darker, probably. I don't know. I'm trying to make up excuses for why I can hardly see what the heck's going on. Natasha, were you saying something? Or was that Jen? It was probably Jen. It's probably Jen. That was it? I thought we had to sneak in. Is that what you call sneaking in? I walked in, ooh, what is that? Vanguard armor. I stand the vanguard! Alright, I don't think we need it though. I mean, it's heavy armor and it's quite ugly. What? Stop getting off of it. There we go. It's quite ugly. I mean, I don't know. I mean, should, I mean, considering the only two people we have that wear heavy armor are Lydia and Freya. I don't. Freya's is already cool enough, and Lydia's Jungle Queen. We don't want it to change that. If it was light armor, I'd give it to Jen, but it's not. Jen won't wear anything but light armor. She's very picky. Very, very picky. She's picky, picky, picky. She's one of those people that pulls the pickles off their sandwiches. She's that picky. All right, let's get out of here. Back through the door we came through. Ah, backtracking in the first degree. All right, well, that was easy enough. I was kind of expecting something a little bit more challenging for my superior intellect, but I guess we just won't have that problem. All right, back to White Run we go. Follow the yellow brick road and all that. All right, there's no place like home. No place. This is the very first time I've ever played Skyrim and not bought that house. I usually always, first thing I do is buy that house. But no, we bought a different house because I want to do this differently than normal. Looking for my husband, Nazim? No, I am not looking for your husband, Nazim. I do not care to speak with him. Stop cranking up things. You think that gives you strength? I do not think so. What in the world is that? Oh, it's a yak. I thought that was a cat that was like over bulging food. It was like an over inflated stuffed animal. I wanted to poke it with something and see if it flew away. That's kind of dark. I've been running interference for you. Oh, there you. Wow, you are awfully close. Have you been bringing? I've got the plans. It was easy for my power. I think we've got them on the run. That sounds like fun. Can I um? Um, th do I just continue? Oh, I completed the quest. Is there another quest? Should I ask someone else? Maybe I should ask Farkas, considering he is our romantic target. Oh, hello, Farkas. We have plans for you. My brother has his smarts. That probably sounded really creepy. Imagine Vale. Now picture Vale walks up to this guy. She's like, I have plans for you. And then she walks away. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be asleep tonight. Hey there. I killed a bear yesterday. Did you kill anything? I, kill I me killed a bear yesterday. You I people, I will take your poor purse of coins. Right I will take that. Like you people are funny, though. Like, I killed a bear yesterday. Like, I didn't kill anything yesterday. Besides, like, a bunch of people, but who cares? Everyone kills people. 
Okay, where, where, okay, where'd you go? Get over here. I hope the hunting goes well, sister. The hunting if goes well than you could ever well it. I'm looking for work. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent... Okay, I'll go speak to the headman, the headmaster captain, sir. I will go speak to him. He's the one in charge of it. Oh, the bull. I'm sorry, I'll pick up the bull. I'm... You be good, dog. You be good. All right. Here, I'll put it back, okay? More to say. So no one has to mention anything about the bread insta incident, right? We're good there? Okay? No one no one has to mention that, okay? Or the or when I knocked over this. This this is another thing we could just put behind or or when I knocked off this? Or I didn't knock that off. Somebody put that there. Maybe I put that there. I don't know. Somebody put that there. All right, let's get out of here. The shards of Ruthrod. The legendary axe. We don't have many shards, do we? Our collection is kind of lax. All right. Level 22. We're only level 22. We've been playing this. We're like at episode 60... 70. Are we at 70? Might head I don't know. This might be 70. Leader. If it's not, if it's not, you guys will obviously know. But, um... How are we that many levels in and only level 22? It's probably because I'm not... Ooh, coin. Ah, I stole something! I didn't know it was stealing! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Please. No one saw me. Never mind, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Um, anyway... Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something before I just rudely interrupted myself by stealing something. Uh, oh, I was saying, how are we, how are we like, 70 episodes in and we're still only level 22? It's probably because I'm not level grinding at all because I'm just playing around, basically. I'm playing this as I would want to play it. I'm not playing it how I should play it to level up fast enough or whatever. I don't, I'm not really concerned about beating the game. I'm just concerned about playing the game. And I like playing it better than beating it anyway. So, you know, that's basically what's happening. But I guess that's why I'm so low leveled for how many hours we put in it. Would you please get out of my way? All right, how many hours have we played this anyway? Let me check this real quick. Wait, I better save it first to get, you know, get an accurate count. All right, now we load, and it'll tell us our time played. 36 hours. We've played this now for 36 hours. That means if you've been watching from the first episode, you've been watching 36 hours of content. Yeah. Think about that. You've watched 36 hours. That's longer than, like, any movie trilogy ever. Ever. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm talking to the headman, Master Captain. Headman, Master Captain! Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Well, now you can see me. Yes, youngling. Have a seat. Youngling? Bale's probably older than you are. Okay, I'll have a seat. I guess I will sit. No one never told me to sit before. This is weird. Here you've been busy a oh, you put your pie back. That's depressing. You were wearing it before. Ayla and I uh, went, work to avenge your death. Your hearts are full of grief, and my Aye. own weeps. Aye, Aye, it is full of grief. But Aye. your death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. Yeah, I guess so. The cycle so. of retaliation may continue for some time. Yeah, it could. In any case, I have a task for you. Oh, cool! Have more you quests. Have heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Um. Vilkis said it was a curse. The boy has a nugget of truth. Oh, a nugget. But cool. Reality is more is it a chicken nugget? McNugget? It always a nugget is. nugget? So what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast oh, maybe, blood is... Oh, maybe Vale's not older than you, then. Maybe, maybe not. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmore Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves? They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment like anyone else. But we had been deceived. So let me get this straight. You want me to try and cure you. Is that what you're going at here? Uh, but aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than... The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. Oh, okay. So, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for sovereign God. So you want to be cured. See, I saw this coming. I saw this. Is there any way to cure yourself? I spent my twilight years trying to find out. 
And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release Okay, so I gotta go kill a bunch of witches. They That's basically what I'm getting from this. We can extract their foul powers by force. Okay. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down. As a oh, so I'm going to march on Hogwarts? And bring That's what I'm doing? Heads, the seat of that makes ability. sense. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Okay, I can do that. I think I can do that. I don't know. Witches scare me, but I can do that. Um, am I to do this alone? We shall have no shield, brother, this time. Well, besides my entire company that follows me everywhere I go anyway. To restore the honor of his legacy. All right, very good. Talos guide you, alas. Yes, I, I beheaded off. Why did I do even my in you? All right, guys, you heard the man. Today we march on Hogwarts. Is everyone ready? Everyone? Nope, just me. All right, let's go. Come on. I wish you could come with us, but you can't. He said I can't have any friends. He won't let you come out to play with me. I never. Oh, shut up. Just shut up. I've heard that too many times. I avoid going to East. Oh, would you please not talk to me? Your stupid accent is where it's like rubbing off on me, and now I'm going to talk like this for the rest of the game. Can't stand when that happens. All right. Um, where are we going again? It's funny how he didn't actually give directions. He's like, just go to this place and kill these people for me. And I'm like, fine. How the heck do I get there? All right. It's this way. It's the opposite way of the way I was going. That's perfect. Half Moon Mill. We'll start there. That sounds like a good way, way to start. I mean, it's easier than starting, like, all the way across the map and then walking. I've done that before. All right. Bubbles. Be careful. Harry Potter could jump out of the weeds and kill us. All right, where are we going? All right, so he basically told me there's just this horde of extremely powerful witches waiting for us at the end of this road. They're going to jump out, they're going to try and kill us, and it's going to be terrifying. I've never wanted to be killed by a witch. It's like Hermione's going to just jump out and try to strangle me. I don't want this. I don't want it. All right, where are we going? Oh, there's a rock in our way. Yeah, that's classic Skyrim right there. I want a dragon too. There, that's Skyrim 42. Skyrim cliches all over the place. A big mountain in our way and a dragon in the sky. That sounds like really bad lyrics to a Nordic hymn, I think. I don't know. Oh, shut up, dragon. I do not have the time. I do not have the time. You'll need to check your watch. All right. Oh, okay. Please don't, please don't sprain your ankle. It'd be hilarious if in this game, if you sprained your ankle or something, you'd have to... That was a rabbit that wasn't Little Vent. That's the first time I've... Shut up! It'd be funny if you sprained your ankle in this game, and then it made you have to walk extra slow and, like, limp back to down. That'd be hilarious. And boring, but you know what I mean. Alright, so I guess we're getting close to the secret witch's hideout. This should be good. What is that? Is that a barn? What in the world? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Okay, shut up. You shut up. You shut You shut up more than the other one. Okay? I wanted him to shut up too, but you need to double shut up. What in the world is this? It's like a tower or something that's fallen over. It's awesome looking, kind of, in a very unawesome way. Because it's, it's just a tower that I've seen before. It's just fallen over. You know. We still don't seem to be any closer. All right, we're getting there, though. We are getting there. One step at a time, like I said. One step at a time. What? Oh! Little skunk rats! I will kill you all! It's funny how the dog can deal with skunk rats, okay. He can deal with that. He just dies whenever we try and find anything more dangerous. You know. Like a... Oh, great. Here they are. Here they are. The mages. This must be Wednesday. Hey, Jim, uh... Let's go out and shoot fire and ice at each other for fun. It'll be fun. Just trust me, Bob. Just trust me. It won't kill you. It'll just burn you a little bit. Okay, Tim. I guess we'll just have to go to the... Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, it killed me. I should have listened to myself, but I didn't. That was a bad idea. Even if we're mages, why would we have to throw stuff at each other? Can't we be more civilized than that? No, we can't, Jim. We cannot be more civilized. 
You want to tell me we're more civilized? Do we spend an entire day doing nothing but eating old cereal? That's what civilized people do, Jim. They eat cereal. That's not fun. We need to go out and shoot fire and ice at each other because we're mages. We signed up for it. So every other Wednesday, to make sure we don't ever turn into regular people, we go out and beat the crap out of each other with magic. That's just how we do it. It's the code we live by, Jim. All right, I think we're here. We're definitely here. Wonderful. This place looks utterly terrifying. I mean, look at this. If you see this outside of a place, don't go in it. Just don't go in it. But I'm going to have to go in it because that's that's what we do. That is what we do. We go right into places, even if they're covered in skulls and bones and stuff. Because that's what we do. That is all for this time. If you enjoyed this episode of more companion questing as we do in Skyrim, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.